In this demonstration, we will look at how Mailscape thoroughly tests mail flow several different ways, how it quickly identifies any issues, and points directly to the source of the problem. Here's an example of a mail flow issue on an Exchange 2007 server. Even though the simulation is on 2007 Exchange servers, the functionality applies to newer versions of Exchange as well. On mailbox servers, Mailscape tests internal mail flow and will also make sure that databases are mounted and responding. Mailscape also tests external mail flow and programmatically sends a test message to the internet and back. There are two reasons that we do this. One reason is that many companies have spam and AV components that are outside of the direct messaging infrastructure, such as a hardware appliance or cloud solution. By sending a message to the internet and back, we can verify functionality through these components from Exchange to the internet and back again. Another reason is that in Exchange 2007, Microsoft introduced a back pressure feature, and if Exchange felt it didn't have enough resources between CPU, RAM, or disk, it would stop sending messages outbound, and some of those thresholds were set very low. Now, Microsoft fixed that in a subsequent service pack and in Exchange 2010, but we've kept the feature so that regardless of the version of Exchange you are using, you can verify in real time that Exchange is sending and receiving mail as it should be. With Mailscape's internal, external, and programmatic mail flow tests, the Exchange admin doesn't have to worry about getting a call from a department head or a VP stating that email is down. No, if there's a problem with mail flow, the Exchange admin will be the first to know. In this particular example, the light is blinking red, indicating critical on my mail flow test. Now, on our mail flow test, we're testing two things. Does our test message make it? And does the test message make it in an acceptable amount of time? In this case, we have a complete failure. With one click, we can go to our knowledge base. And in our knowledge base, we have additional information useful for troubleshooting and correcting the problem. But without going into the knowledge base, let's see what Mailscape can tell us just by itself. First, we ask ourselves, what could possibly cause a mail flow issue? Obviously, if a database is dismounted, but looking at Mailscape, we can quickly see that the databases are up and running. We can also ask, am I having a disk space issue? Again, Mailscape shows us that disk space is OK. The only other light that is flashing red is on one of the hub servers. And drilling down, we can instantly see that the Exchange Transport Service has stopped for some reason. So from an Exchange admin's perspective, when you think of how many servers you have to manage, how long does it take you to track down an issue? By having a visual display, Mailscape points the Exchange admin directly to the source of the problem, greatly reducing time spent troubleshooting. E now. Admin life simplified.